A windfall of federal COVID relief money has yet to be spent statewide, and hundreds of millions of dollars specifically for public education is among the larger sums. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and has details. Hawaii's Department of Education got more than $400 million from a variety of federal COVID emergency funds, and the department has yet to spend most of it. Advocates are calling for more targeting and transparency. Federal COVID relief packages take the ABCs and 123s of education to the next level with an alphabet soup of huge dollar figure rescue funds. And this congressional money was first put in there to help safely reopen our schools and second to address the yawning learning loss and all the inequities that have been laid bare all over Hawaii and all across the nation and the world due to this pandemic. Always Investigating analyzed the five different major grants totaling nearly $421 million. Only about one third has been spent. A quarter billion dollars, 250 million to be exact, is sitting on the books. KHON asking the tough questions and doing the digging is very important because ultimately our um, officials are accountable to the public. The DOE has posted monthly updates with outlines of how they would like to spend the money, but it's not always specific. There's $65 million for teacher pay, $54 million for legislative cuts, and tens of millions for the weighted student formula, a long-time school funding mechanism. There's just this assumption that filling the budget holes is important and it's going to impact kids. Well, I think we're at a point now where we've got to do more than that. We've actually got to explain. Just two of the top five allotment categories, 31 million for distance learning and 27 million for food, relate directly to pandemic issues. The food delivery that the school system did was unbelievable, and it shows what happens when we see this as an emergency. We have not yet seen big red flags of nice to haves instead of need to haves. The goal, in my opinion, is we have to address this learning loss. We have to address it now. I asked the DOE for interviews on how they'll maximize the federal relief money. What has worked well so far? What's still coming up? Their spokesperson wouldn't make anyone available for an interview. Instead, saying they'll make more details public at next month's board meeting. Adding, until then, the folks working on this are focused on completing those plans, including the board's requirement to solicit and incorporate stakeholder input. Stakeholders like parents, students, and child advocates tell me that both academics and emotional well-being hit rock bottom due to the pandemic. What we're hearing from parents um, is, uh, and even service providers, you know, is um, an increase in anxiety amongst kids and of, you know, K through 12. When you look at the student achievement numbers, even though they don't tell the whole story, we have a pandemic every day of 100,000 cases of students who are trying desperately to catch up and teachers are trying to desperately help catch them up. The last dollar of the federal funds can be spent as late as 2024. We can't wait a year or two for that to happen. It has to be happening right now. We need a real-time understanding of uh, what's happening with these funds. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.